Microbes are everywhere. Those ubiquitous microorganisms and their metabolic activities are essential for this planet. Today, we will look at one of the most abundant and diverse ecosystems on Earth, soil. Soil is a challenging sample to study, since its DNA is based on the quantity and type of soil. Let's have a look. Soil samples collected from the same source have variable microbial load and different organic makeup. After collection, use your sample as soon as possible, as prolonged storage will affect the microbial composition. For later use, store it in PowerProtect DNA RNA or put it in the freezer. For small sample with large microbiome load, use the DNAZ PowerSoil Pro Kit. For low biomass samples, use the DNAZ Power Max Soil Kit that features tubes that can handle larger volume. The kit is shipped at room temperature. When you receive it, make sure that you take the solution CD2 out and put it in the fridge in order to prevent precipitation. The rest of the kit can be stored at room temperature. Are you ready for the extraction? Let's start with the lysis. Briefly spin the power bead pro tubes to make sure that the beads have settled down. Use a weighing paper or funnel to transfer the soil and put it into the tube. Make sure to not overfill to prevent inefficient disruption. You can also store the tubes overnight in the freezer. Before disruption, make sure to thaw to room temperature to avoid tube breakage. Adding solution CD1 to your power bead pro tubes would help disperse the soil dissolve the humic acids and protect the DNA from degradation. Briefly vortex your sample before I show you our new instrument. This is our new tissue laser 3. Place your tubes onto a tube adapter and make sure you balance it with empty tubes. Place the adapters onto the instrument. The tubes are now ready. Disrupt the sample using 25 Hz at 5 minutes or use one of our pre-installed protocol called Soil DNA. Now, reorient the plate to ensure efficient sample disruption. Since we used two empty tubes, we don't need to rotate the second plate. You can now start with the same parameters. After the disruption, centrifuge your tube to pellet the solids. Transfer the supernatant in 2 ml micro centrifuge tubes. Your sample is now lysed and homogenized. Add solution CD2. It contains inhibitor removal technology that would precipitate the contaminants that interfere with your downstream application. Transfer the supernatant into two new collection tubes. Add solution CD3. It will selectively bind DNA onto the membrane of the MB spin column. And make sure to not touch the pellet. Vortex the tubes for five seconds, and then load the lysate mix onto an MB spin column. Centrifuge the tube and discard the flow through two times to make sure the lysate has passed through the spin column. After the second centrifugation step, discard the flow through and put the MB spin column onto a new collection tube. Make sure to not splash the flow through on the MB spin. Now, add solution EA to remove proteins and other non-aqueous contaminants. Discard the flow through and put the MB spin column onto the collection tube. Now, add solution C5 to further purify your DNA. Then, repeat the washing step. Discard the flow through and place the MB spin column onto a new tube. Make sure solution C5 is thoroughly removed as ethanol interferes with DNA downstream applications. Place the MB spin column onto an elution tube and put solution C6 at the center of the membrane to ensure complete release of the DNA. The tube is now ready for the last centrifuge step. Discard the MB spin column and that's it. Your DNA is ready for downstream application. We recommend freezing the DNA as solution C6 doesn't contain EDTA. To concentrate DNA, refer to the troubleshooting guide. See you next time, as we are dealing with more challenging samples. Kyogen. Sample to Insight.